praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. As always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up for our morning reading. We've been coming from Romans 1, verse 15 and 16. But, of course, we know this week we're talking about the gospel, you know, preaching the gospel, my Lord. And even as we saw yesterday, he told us to go into all the world and preach this gospel, all right? And you know, even as uh, we had Sister Mary with us on yesterday sharing how, you know, we must take advantage of all the different platforms that God has made available for the church to preach the gospel, all the social media. Why? Because that's where everyone is, my uh, our family and our loved ones, my God, our friends and, and, and enemies, my God, everybody is on social media, bless God. So we must take advantage of these opportunities to preach the gospel and on every platform that God has made available for the for the church all right so let's read romans 1 verse 15 so as much as in me is i am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at rome also he says for i am not ashamed i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ for it is the power of god to salvation to everyone that believes to the jew first and also to the greek amplified verse 16 says for i am not ashamed of the gospel hear it the good news of christ Message translation says, it's news I'm most proud to proclaim. The extraordinary message of God's powerful plan to rescue everyone who would trust in Jesus. So what is the gospel? What, first, what, 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 what the gospel isn't? <laughs> My God, the gospel isn't about money and clothes and houses and cars. Listen, thank God for all of that. You know, and thank God for, he said, he gives us richly all things to enjoy. But what is the gospel, the true gospel in its purest form, my God? And that gospel is about Jesus Christ and his work on the cross and saving and redeeming mankind back to the Father. That's the gospel. The gospel is about one man. There's not many gospels. There's not a gospel of, of grace and a prosperity gospel and a, a healing gospel. No, it's only one gospel. And this one gospel is about one man. And that man is Christ Jesus. And all he has done for humanity, the whole human race, to redeem us. It says, for God so loved the world. My God. This gospel is for who? The world. My my God, telling the world about Jesus Christ. And we must preach this gospel. And even as we shared on yesterday, we must take advantage of every platform, every opportunity, everything that's available to preach this gospel, to tell every man, every woman, every family, every nation about Jesus Christ and all he has done to redeem us back to the Father. Again, there's only one gospel. And this one gospel is about one man, and that man is Christ Jesus the Lord. And that's who we preach, bless God. Amen? Amen. So, my God, let's go ahead and take communion this morning. We're going to preach this gospel, my God, as long as we have breath. We're going to preach this gospel and let everyone know about all that Christ Jesus has done for them, my Lord. So, Father, we love you. We bless you. We thank you, Father, for all you have done for us through your son, Jesus Christ. And we bless you. We thank you, Father, for this, another opportunity you've given us to come before your table together to commune with you, Father, to commune with one another. And we take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, everything you did was for us. You was made sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, and with and by your stripes, we were healed. Therefore, we are healed in Jesus' name. We do this in remembrance of you, and we thank you for it, Lord Jesus. And we acknowledge every time we take communion, all the covenant benefits and privileges are released on the inside of us. And for that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we discern your body. And we thank you for all you've done. We take the bread right now. We eat all of it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We take the cup. The cup of the blessing. The blood of Jesus. The blood of the new covenant. Everything you did, Lord Jesus, was for us. You poured out all your blood, my God. You redeemed us by your stripes. We're healed. We are forgiven. We are blessed. 
We are chosen. We are accepted. And we stand before the Father this morning, holy and blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, in love. We do this in remembrance of you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your blood. We take the cup. We drink all of it. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord Jesus. Let's get our confession in this morning. The blessing of the Lord is upon me. My family is blessed. My marriage is blessed. My children are blessed. My house is blessed. My body is blessed. My mind is blessed. My finances are blessed. My business is blessed. My church is blessed. Everywhere I go, everything I do is blessed. The blessing of the Lord is working for me now. God has made all grace, every favor, and every earthly blessing abound towards me in abundance on today. Amen. Amen. Believe that, that the blessing is working for you and your household. My God. All because you're in Christ Jesus. My God. Yes, Lord. So we love you, Lord Jesus, and we thank you. Oh, we bless you. We love you today. We honor you. We thank you for all you've done and all you're doing. We thank you for a great day today in your presence. Good news on today. Healings and breakthroughs. Uh, debts canceled. Families healed. Families restored. Loved ones saved. Uh, all men are good, Father, because you are only good and you are good to all. And we say thank you for all you've done, Lord Jesus. We say thank you. And it's a privilege and an honor to be in you. And anyone that's not in you, we pray for them right now. Hey, we tell you, come on and get in Christ Jesus. Everything you need, everything you're looking for is in him. Amen. Amen. Hey, God bless you. And we thank you for joining us this morning for everyday communion. Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow around about the same time. Communion with the Father and communion with one another. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We love you guys.